Hey gang, welcome back to Opal's Diecast Restoration. Today we're doing a Hot Wheels GTX 1. I got this car from D down at in Florida. And it comes in pretty rough shape. Paint's all worn off, chipped up, dirty. See if we can uh, put her back together and spice her up a little bit. I gotta get me a new turnstile. Really acting up. As usual, we drill out the rivet post. This one only has one. That's it for disassembly. Clean up that front post so we can put it back together easy. Tap out the post. I know you've seen this a million times. But when I don't have it in there, I get nasty comments about not showing what I'm doing. you clean off your tap when you're done. Time for our favorite stripper. No, no, don't send me in there, please. I'm a bored Friday. Oh. Sorry. Y'all have to go into the bath. Don't worry, when you're all done, you'll look pretty again. Shake for good luck. Oh, 
I decided to cut out that little center divider over the motor and then I went ahead and put the usual plastic Lexon or whatever cover over the motor. I also decided that since this was a high speed car, they needed some kind of roll bar. So here I am drilling out. I went with like a BMW G3 twin roll bars. Jet black. Get our windscreen freshly cleaned into the pledge. Blotted off a little bit on the edges. And get a cover over it to keep the dust off. I highlighted the interior. I took all that goofy chrome off and it kind of puddled up in the back of the seat. Touch up the chrome on the wheel. Here it is all ready for reassembly. I detailed the bottom, the base, the interior. This is what we started with. Hot Wheels GTX 1. Play worn, scraped up, in need of a resto. This is what we ended up with. I added the spoiler on the back, the roll bars, detailed everything, added the red highlight. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. For now, this is Opa and his Ford GTX-1 saying goodbye.